Alrighty, um, well, morning everybody. I guess now it's about as good a time as any. Um, just, uh, I'll just start this off by saying, um, I'm kind of feeling like crap right now. So, if I suddenly decide to abandon this cast, don't be surprised. But, um, let me, let me go ahead and get this, uh, let me go ahead and, let me go ahead and get this started properly. Um, the music, I think I played this during my stream yesterday. Uh, this is Red Sun, Triosophy. So it's, it again, it's uh, it's instrumental stoner, stoner rock. So let me go ahead and um, get this fired up. And like yesterday, um, much of the much of the footage was just uh, thrown in at the last minute, if for no other reason than to just make this worth make this uh, cast worth my while. Because right now I'm kind of inclined to just not do this at all. Oh, and uh, before uh, before I before I go further, um, I'm having a can of V8 Energy, peach mango flavored. So. I don't know what little help it does me, but but otherwise, um, a lot of my night was just um. Divided my time between just sitting around watching TV and then taking like a one hour nap, waking, waking back up, watching more TV, and back to napping again. So yeah, needless to say, this was a rather unproductive night tonight. So yeah, I'm kind of a little, I'm a little peeved about it. I don't like having nights like these. I mean, because I, quote-unquote, only get four days, you know, get four days off a week. So. Um. Oh, with that, uh, that and, uh, otherwise I've been playing a fair amount of, uh, fair amount of uh, Gems of War. I was about to say Guns of War. No, no. But, uh. But. Yeah, this is a, it's a match three, it's a match three game with um, RPG and Magic the Gathering elements to it. And uh, I streamed this, I, uh, I streamed this game yesterday as well. So, but it's also, it's also very frustrating because I, I put, and I forgot to mention too, a good chunk of what I'm going to say here, I've also added to my blog post as well, so... But um, uh, but yeah, it's a very frustrating game to play. It's actually um, it's believe it or not, a lot of it's actually RNG, and not a whole lot of it's skill. I mean, hell, it, this shit's worse than pinball. I mean, at least with pinball, I have greater control over the game than I do on uh, Gems of War. I mean, you know, flippers and all that. You know, know you know knowing how to aim shots, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, that kind of you know that kind of stuff. Ball control. So, so yeah, pinball is a lot easier by comparison. So, but um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping this phase passes, cause um, for those that were, for those who are, that were at my stream yesterday, they probably found me to be very frustrated, uh, possibly more so when than when playing pinball. So. Um, uh, but otherwise, I, I think I watched about, about half or two thirds of, um, of, uh, Dragon Ball, the first season, um, episode 26, that's the, um, that's the martial arts tournament, and it's the, it's the final showdown between Goku and, um, and Master Roshi, or excuse me, uh, Jackie Chan, so, but, uh, it, but uh, I think um, probably about ninety percent of that whole, or let me let me let me rephrase that. This episode here is only like the first half of the final battle. But in that um, in this episode here, ninety percent of the actual fight was just was just all theatrics. So it, I found it to be very very frustrating, you know, frustrating to watch. I mean, I mean, I get I get it's a. 
it's a cart it's a kids cartoon show our kids cartoon comedy show but you know this is the final battle of a mar- of a tournament I mean this should have been serious time right here you know just you know balls to the wall you know straight up mono we mono none of the none of the dancing around pro wrestling crap you know I'm not I mean I'm not anti pro wrestling but you kind of get the idea you know you know leave all the Leave all the silly stuff towards the start of the tournament, you know. Where all the wannabes, for lack of a better word, that, you know, that were also participating in the tournament, you know, getting them eliminated. And then getting, you know, getting down to the brass tacks for the final battle. You know, so, it, it just, yeah, so it's very much a letdown. So. But, um. Uh, like I said, I only got maybe no. I think I'm no. I think I think I actually officially have watched the whole episode. It, I mean, they do uh, they do classical storytelling pacing. You know they, you know they got the introduction guy. Last time on Dragon Ball, Goku fell off a 100 foot cliff and survived. We follow Goku now as he does something or another. You know, that kind of thing, the intro. And then, um, right, but I stopped the, I stopped the episode right when, when the battle has begun. Will Goku or, Ma- or Master Roshi win the contest? We'll soon see on the next episode of Dragon Ball. You know, that one, that, when, right when, right when I heard the narrator start that, started up that, I just stopped the episode, because that, Pretty much the end. And um and now that I think about it, the um the ending theme to the dra- to the first Dragon Ball, the ending theme song, the be as free as you can be, that one, that's gotta be one of my favorite ending themes. It's it was something that kinda grew on me though. Um I mean back when I, I mean back when I last lit Back when I, back in like the 2000s, 2010s, when I was living with my sister and brother-in-law and their four nephews, they would have it on from time to time. Um, didn't think much of the theme back then, but, but yeah, it's like now, you know, after watching 26 episodes and hearing this ending theme song, it's kind of growing on me. I almost want to say that I'd want something like this played at my funeral, like when I die. Have the song played, you know, be as free as you can be. That one. If only, or if only to buck tradition. Because, you know, usually in those funerals, they'd want the holy, holy, you know, type, you know, the classical, or, the, you know, the bed meddler, you know. Never know that you my hero type songs. You know that often get played at these funerals. I'd want the end. I'd want the um, end song of Dragon Ball to on my on my funeral. But if only just if only again, just to say fuck tradition. You know, just something different in there. So yeah, kind of a kind of a quick recap. Um, the martial arts tournament, for the most part, kind of stunk. But um, the 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 final the the final battle, there shouldn't have been any fucking around at all. It should have been just a straight up fighting contest, you know. No fluff whatsoever. So, um, and this next part, I only have in here again. Just, I think I feel I've uh. I feel I've said enough on on yesterday's cast, but again, I'm trying to I'm trying to make this worth my while because I'm just really trying to fight the urge to say fuck and go back and take another nap. So, but I, mean, I gotta I gotta do something real quick. That might explain it. I had the music was a little bit loud in my headphones, so I had to turn it down some. Um, but yesterday, um, I watched uh, part of a part of a video from a YouTube channel called Le- the Leaderboard. 
Um, and they were, um, they were, they were doing an episode about all the games that, uh, Nintendo has shut down, all the fan games that Nintendo has shut down. And, um, and I remember, um, Emperor Lemon, another YouTuber, he also did an episode on Nintendo as well. And, um, and what a bunch of major assholes they are, because, uh, either they were outright suing, suing these people, or issuing a takedown notices. So, but, yeah, it, um, I watched the rest of this video, and what, I did kind of notice a pattern. Some of these, uh, some of these fan games that Nintendo got, or that Nintendo had taken down, they actually went and went off and made themselves. Like those very same fan games. Nintendo decided to go ahead and make basically exact replicas. I know uh, one was uh, Legend of Zelda HD. That was actually a fan game. Nintendo, however, ordered them to or send them a cease and desist, telling them to shut down that game. And then they went ahead and made their own exact copy of that. Like, what a bunch of assholes. I mean, it's bad enough that your your creation that you've worked on for so many years is now, is now for naught, is now, now has to be shut down for good. It's even worse to sit here and watch the same company that fucked you over now made, now just made that very same game that you made. I mean, how, I mean, how much of an asshole do you have to be to do something like that? But yeah, um, but that that particular game there uh, wasn't the only case. I think there were other games mentioned in that video that that was exactly what Nintendo did. Um, Project M, I think. I think Project M was another one. Um, oh God, how did it go? I think uh, when um when Nintendo made Super Smash Brothers Melee. There was a huge tournament scene involved around that, but Nintendo being the, the stuck-up pricks that they are, ordered that tournament scene to be shut down. And then as a result, I... Oh, God, how, how did it go? And then, um, I think Project M was a fan, was a fan version of Melee. But, um, but again, uh, I think, uh, I think Nintendo struck that down as well. They had to shut down Project M. And then, um, Nintendo, next thing you know, they came out with, uh, Super Smash Brawl. I might be wrong about this. I, but I, I think, um, I think Emperor Lemon said something about this as well. Like, after, um, Melee got shut down, Project M came into existence, but then Nintendo shut that down. And then shortly after they did that, they came out with, uh, Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, um, okay. Melee. No. Uh, Melee. Tournament scene. Shut down my Nintendo. Uh, Super Smash Brawl came out. Okay, I, I think I got this right now. Super Smash Brawl came out. And then Project M came out after that. They were taken off. They were taking the uh, melee mechanics, and with what using the uh, brawl roster, I think that's what it was. And then, um, and then Nintendo, after that, Nintendo, they didn't, they didn't order them to shut down Project M outright. What they did tell them to do was to put it on hold because of the next game that they were making, Super Smash Ultimate. They were gonna make a. They were going to make a competitive scene based around that. But, uh, basically, the, but it never happened. Project M got shut down for nothing. So, ba those guys got fuckled by, by Nintendo. I, yeah, I think that's how it happened. But, um, I'm also, I'm also assuming that, uh, Smash Ultimate was an exact copy of Project M. So, I, again, that, that's, that's another dick move right there. So, I mean, I, I, it, it, it also should be mentioned, I forgot to mention this in yesterday's cast, but on one end, I don't have, I, I can't recall the last time I played a Nintendo game, 
So I really, on one end, I don't have a dog in the fight. So it really, it, on one end, it's none of my concern. Wait, hold on, hold on. My throat's getting worse. You know, I mean, again, on one end, it's really should be none of my concern, but... And then, um, it kind of occurred to me, one other thing that, uh, that these guys are mentioning about Nintendo was, uh, something that I mentioned about one of the worst managers I've ever worked for. Um, Nintendo seems to be the only company that does this shit. So, but which is this is a horrible manager that I work for. He's, he's the same, he's the same thing. He's the only manager I've had to work for that does the shit that he does. Like, no other manager I've ever worked for that I can recall. I mean, I've been, I've been in retail for like 30 years, so I've gone through quite a few managers in my life. But anyway, getting back to the topic, he's the only manager I've worked for that does this shit, that pulls the kind of stunts that he does. No other boss I've worked for does this. Does what this guy does. So this is something that I uh, that it was kind of my epiphany I had when I was watching this video. So uh, you know, and Nintendo seems to be the same way. And they're now. Hang on, hang on. I'm, and um, and it technically it it is within. I I said this yesterday too. Um, it is within Nintendo's legal right to do the crap they pull. Um. Whereas, uh, in the in the jobs I've worked, I'll, I'll I'll go ahead and cite this example now. I'm I try to go going too in depth because I like to keep my work at work, but um, I guess there's some kind of law or rule in in Walmart that says you're not you can't you can't go to the bathroom unless you're on either break or lunch. I don't know if that's official or not, but uh, um, on one other occasion throughout my uh. 16 years with Walmart one other manager also a douchebag one of the worst I've ever worked for you know says this as well somebody goes to the bathroom and they come back and the managers right there hey you can't use the bathroom unless you're on break or lunch only two managers I've ever worked for throughout my entire career in retail has ever said this kind of shit but uh, I guess there's I'm just gonna go ahead and assume for a moment that this actually is a law or a policy but that being said, these were the only two managers I've ever worked for that that follow this. Every other boss I've worked for, I mean, you, you know, you, I mean, you got to go, you got to go, you know, you know, you, no harm, no foul. You go to the bathroom, do whatever, you know, do your business, and come on back. No big deal. Not these two managers. So, but you know, again, this this is my epiphany that I had about Nintendo. Nintendo's the same way. It's within their legal right. To, do, to pull all this stuff. But yet, this, this seems to be the only company that does this. You know, they're the only, you know, they're the only ones that are so vehement about, you know, DMCAing fan, you know, fan games and taking them down. Nearly every other, uh, every other game company out there, they got no problems with fan games. And I said this yesterday too, um, you know, Especially considering the kind of shit quality games that I'd probably make. I mean, I've I've only dabbled a super tiny bit into game design. But you know, if I was to make a if I was to ever make a game, it'd probably be absolute shit. It'd be about as bad as ET. Maybe even worse. You know, but if if so if somebody wanted to make a fan game of one of my games, I would have taken it as a huge compliment. You know. I mean, somebody must, you know, that's a fan that that must really love your work enough to where they want to spend hours, maybe even months, maybe even years, making their own fan fan version of it. I mean, you don't, you know, you don't want to reward somebody like that by issuing a takedown notice. So, but I, I'm, you know, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other game companies are like that too. You know. You know, they, they too would probably take it as a compliment if there's a if somebody made a fan game for them. You know, I mean, 
but yet uh, Nintendo seems to be the only company that they're I mean they're on you like flies on shit you know so but yeah enough of that so but like I said I thought I covered everything in yesterday's cast on Nintendo but I'm I'm basically trying to make this worth my while it's just like I said a few minutes ago um, but anyway, just, um, I didn't really learn a whole lot that I didn't learn yesterday. I just, the, again, the Gems of War video that you just saw, and this time, I think I was smart enough to make sure that the sound was turned off. Um, I'll find out how well I did during playback. But yeah, again, this was that was another gameplay video that I made with Windows Movie Maker. So, and again, I broke it up into like thirty-second chunks. Oh, and also I forgot to mention too, um, the the option there of browser. I said this yesterday too, but I can take images. I could just directly copy the image link straight onto OBS, and uh, and it'll work most of the time. One thing I, uh, one thing I problem I did have with it was that a lot of those images have like a big, huge black border around them. But I did figure out how to customize the uh, the the height and width of that image, and that will get rid of most, if not all, the black border. I mean, I have to kind of, I have to. I have to write down my. I'd have to type down very specific numbers in order to eliminate it completely. So that, but that there is going to get too tedious. So I just, I'll just, um, I'll knock the, I'll knock the sizes down by like half the pixels. Like if it's a uh, 800 pixels wide, I'll knock it down to 400. You know, to cite an example. So, so if I, so I found a way to trim the images a little bit. Um, and I, I probably want to go back to Dragon Ball. And I, because uh, I, something I forgot to say, I don't. Oh, um, I might have time. Let me. I think that's her name. I'll try to, I'll try to type the image. I'll try to, oh yeah, I'll try to copy the image straight from, straight from my browser to OBS. And hopefully it'll work. But yeah, um, but she was another. This girl here was another opponent in the tournament. She was eliminated in the first round. But um, basically, you know, using her, you know, using her charm and sex appeal in order to beat opponents. Um, but this, uh, but yeah, this Dragon Ball show, it's got. A, for those that have uh, seen my blog posts or my other my other cast, um, I've said this before, but they're. I mean, there is a lot of pedo perp stuff here in a kids PG game, or game in a kids PG show, excuse me. But one thing I do, I do gotta say this about them. At least they, um, at least they draw, you know, at least the women in here look natural. I mean, again, despite all the pedo perp stuff in this show, I mean, at least they're drawn naturally, like you know, they look normal. Like they don't look like uh, Pamela Anderson, you know, fake plastic blonde bimbo type. So, so yeah. Again, in fairness, I do have to say it about. I do have to say this about the about the um, about the artists in Dragon Ball. They draw the women realistically. You know, and not just not just draw them and not not just make them look like uh look like uh plastic fuck dolls. So. So, yeah, I I just. I felt the need to get that out now. 
it's been something I've been wanting to say in all these other one, all these other casts where I watch Dragon Ball. I just keep forgetting about it. So. Uh, but alrighty, well, that's gonna do it for me, and um, just gonna go ahead and shut her down. Um. I, I, there's something else I was wanting to say. I totally forgot. Uh, but but all right, I'll, I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. Um, but thanks for thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. But uh, until then, though, thanks again for um, thanks again for tuning in, guys. Uh, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye now.